If you do what I'm going to share with you in this video, it is physically impossible to not get hordes of leads and clients. I'm going to share with you the exact seven steps that I would take to get at least seven high paying clients in the next seven days if I had no money and all I had was a smartphone and a laptop. And no, I'm not going to tell you how to run ads, post a bunch of content, or do a bunch of cold calling or cold DM outreach. In fact, I've never heard anybody actually share this strategy. For context, this is almost exactly what I did to grow my first business past seven figures in 2018. I actually ended up selling that, but it was the foundation for growing my next two businesses past seven figures since then. And this will work for virtually any business, uh, but it will specifically be effective for online coaching, consulting, agency, service, course, or info businesses. Now, if you're having a tough time getting clients, what I'm about to share with you will 100% guarantee that you'll never have that problem again. The reason is, is it relies on a foundational principle that I'm going to share with you in just a second. Now, it will require work. So if you're not willing to work, then it's probably best that you don't continue kidding yourself into thinking that you're going to be successful. But if you are willing to work and you know just a few things that others don't, and you have a smartphone or a laptop, then let's rock and roll. And by the way, if you do get value from this, please tap the like button, subscribe to this channel. I put out at least one video like this every single week. Plus, I occasionally have some of my successful millionaire friends on my podcast to share even more cool client getting tips. And if you want a full blueprint on how to scale your business, in addition to what I'm sharing with you in this video, there's a link in the description to get that 100% free. Now, most people fail to get clients because they don't understand this principle. You get paid in direct proportion to the value that you add to others. And if you find yourself thinking that you're adding value, but nobody is responding, then you're just adding things. You're not adding value. And most people think that they can just follow a template or blast cold outreach with pitches and somehow they'll get clients. But the problem is that is not valuable. What is valuable is what is going on in the minds of our target market. They're actually telling you what's on their minds every second of every day on social media, in every Facebook group, comment thread on YouTube, Instagram, Reddit, Twitter, you name it, thousands upon thousands of people are asking questions about problems that they're trying to solve. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, it's constant. And while generic solutions and generic answers are helpful, a custom tailored, well thought out, one to one direct solution from someone who has successfully solved that problem before and their guidance through that unique situation is actually the most valuable solution that anyone can ever get. The reason is it's custom to us. And that's all people care about is themselves. They're looking for good custom solutions to their problems and they want it fast. And when we have a problem, we ask questions like, how do I solve this problem? And those are the types of questions that get asked on social media. And when people get good custom tailored answers or solutions to those problems or answers to those questions, that becomes valuable because problems get solved. And since we get paid in direct proportion to the value that we add to others, it makes sense for us that if we want more clients to focus on providing good custom solutions to our target markets problems. And when you follow what I'm about to share with you, you'll have an endless flow of leads, clients, and even content ideas. So let's get into it. Here's what I would do if I was trying to get as many clients as possible as fast as I could in 2024, specifically seven clients in the next seven days. And as a reminder, everything I'm going to share with you in this video is totally written out. All of the scripts, prompts, and everything else is in a guide that I've prepared that is linked below. So step one, I'd find groups, pages, channels, and threads with your target audience discussing stuff. This should be pretty self-explanatory. Where are people discussing things around your skill set or expertise? I'd go there. Specifically, I would create a Google Doc and link those threads, channels, and groups on them so I could easily refer back to them or create bookmarks on my Chrome browser. Step two, I would scan the questions that people are asking about your specific subject matter. Usually, you can search the search function in any group or or comment thread and find keywords that relate to your expertise, your subject matter. And when I find a question that I can answer, I would dig into who asked it by checking out their profile and their website and whatever's relevant. And remember, you don't need to be the world's preeminent expert to give your two cents to answer a question. It's free. It's a comment section, for God's sake. So just do your best to follow what I'm about to share with you, even if you think you're going to sound like an idiot. 
And you may feel stupid or have imposter syndrome while doing this. You may suck at first. That's normal. And that's okay. And I've actually structured this in a way that it's actually a benefit if you are not a preeminent expert in this field. All right, so let's move on to step three, the value bomb. Once I found a question and checked out the person for context, I record a five to 10 minute Loom video with my best tips to help them with their specific issue that they're asking about. I not only would answer their question directly, but I would pile on the value to an extreme degree. And here's the key to making this whole thing work. You have to answer their question in this Loom video as if they'd already paid you $10,000 to answer that question. And you want to do it as thoroughly and as valuable as you possibly can do it. So imagine they just PayPal'd you $10,000. They said, hey, here's my question on social media. I just PayPal'd you 10 grand. Give me a $10,000 answer. That's how you want to think about this. So for example, in this Loom video, you would record something like, hey, Sarah, or whatever their name is, saw your question on this thing, in this group, this thread. And I had an idea for you that may help you as it has helped me a little bit through this. So for context, I used to struggle with the topic on the thing that they asked about. And I tried common alternative solutions. And none of those things that I tried actually got me specific result that you want. And I figured I'd share what helped me get result that you want in case it helps you too. And then I would walk them through on a screen share, a guide, a video, a PDF, a demonstration that 100% very thoroughly solves their problem. Do not leave anything out. If you're a yoga instructor, like literally put your camera aside, go do yoga right? And walk them through why you're doing what you're doing and how they should do it and so on and so forth. Do not leave anything out. Remember, it's as if they paid you 10 grand to do this. So it better be a good damn video, right? And if you're unsure, give more. If you can't solve their problem directly, perhaps give them a referral and explain the referral in the video and why you're referring them. And you'll know that you're close to having enough value when you feel very uncomfortable about giving away this video to this person. But we don't want to stop there. If you have a PDF, a template, a guide, a thing that they can copy, paste, or import, a tool, a software, a link, link it in the comments of the Loom video or the description of the Loom video and tell them, hey, this thing I'm walking you through, I've linked it in the description to make it easy for you. Oh, and if you don't have any of those, create one specifically for them and link it. And here's two really big keys that if you screw this up, none of this will work. One, do not include any branding or links to your website promoting yourself inside of the templates. You will surely get removed from groups for self-promoting if you do. Group owners don't like people promoting themselves in groups, but if you give a unbranded template guide something or other with no call to action on it that doesn't lead back to you aside from here's this helpful thing that I made you in this video that is linked below, and it's not self-promotion, then it's just pure value. So you don't want to get removed from these groups. So don't pitch, don't promote. And next, do not ask them for anything. Don't pitch them. Don't tell them about what you do. Don't be like, oh, hey, I did all this stuff and I'm really cool and did this thing. Don't promote yourself. Don't tell them to follow you. Don't tell them anything that could be even possibly construed as self-promotion. This is incredibly important. You're going to be very tempted to do this, but don't, okay? This whole video should be no more than 10 minutes long, ideally five to eight minutes long, just because of people's attention spans. You don't want to have them have to watch a 45 minute video. Okay. Then you want to close out the video with anyways, um, was that helpful for you? Hope it was all the best. Cheers. Something like that, right? No call to action. No, you can check out my other shit over here. No, 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 none of that. Okay. Now by closing out your videos that way, this does two things. It makes it easy for them to reply with, holy shit, that was extremely helpful. Also, it makes it physically impossible for them to object or complain that you cold message them with value disguised as a pitch. Well, because you didn't pitch anything, you will be tempted to sneak in a link or something to promote yourself. Don't do it. Just don't do it. And the reason this works is because if your video and your resources are valuable enough, they will take it upon themselves to click on your profile, check you out, or they'll just straight up message you. And I'll cover how to handle those situations in a second. But next, you're going to have this Loom video. You're going to want to rename that Loom video something like Sarah Jones, their name, colon, 
answer to question and summarize or copy paste their question. And then you want to reply in that comment section or on that post that you originally found the question with something like, hey, at person that asked the question, make sure to tag them. I started typing an answer to this, but I figured it would be easier to shoot you a Loom video, smiley face, and then link to the Loom video. And at the end of this video that you're watching right now, I'm going to share with you a ninja hack to know exactly who to follow up with and how. But first, we need step four, the doc. We're not done yet. So when you shoot a Loom video, which that is linked in the description is to sign up for a free Loom account. It is free. Loom should provide you with a transcript of your video. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to copy that transcript and paste it into ChatGPT and use the following prompt. I just recorded a tutorial for a client of mine replying to their question, paste question. I'm going to paste the transcript of the Loom video below. I want you to assume the role of copywriting super expert, and I want you to rewrite the transcript in a well-written blog post. Here is the transcript, colon, paste transcript. Then open a Google Doc, paste their question, and then paste the ChatGPT response below it. If you want to help yourself for a further step, when you paste the question, just change it in the Google Doc to H1 the headline format. This is going to be important, and in a second, you're going to see why. But first, we're going to go to step five, the goal. Remember, we get paid in direct proportion to the amount of value we add to other people. So more value plus more people equals more income. So we can't just do this once. If it were me, here's how I'd be thinking through it. So it might take me three to five minutes to find a question that I can answer. And initially, like on the first day of you doing this, like it'll be a little clunky. You might have a tough time finding where these pods of people that are asking all these questions. But once you get that dialed in, there's going to be all these questions and all these conversations around stuff that you also know about. So once I've got that settled, it might take me three to five minutes to find a question I can answer. Then it might take me another three to five minutes to research that person who asked that question just for additional context. Then it might take me another three to five minutes to prepare to record my Loom video, gather my resources, maybe outline something for them on a Google Doc, etc. And so we're looking at anywhere from 20 20 to 25 minutes per video. And if I was really serious about getting as many clients as possible, I'd try to pack in as many in a day as I could. So if I was working eight to 10 hours per day on this, which I would be probably more if I was serious, that means I could get 20 to 30 of these done in a day. And I would do this for at least 10 days in a row. I realize the title of this video was seven days, but I would shoot for 10. This would give me 200 to 300 videos. And keep in mind, there will be some overlap and questions that will be asked more than once. They're not all going to be individual, unique questions. And you will be tempted to send that person the video that you did for the other person. But don't do that. Record a new one for them. And in fact, improve on the previous one. So step six and seven, I've combined these, the set and the close. If you do this right, a few things will happen. First, the people that you send videos to will thank you. A percentage of them will reach out directly to you, and a percentage of them will thank you and just check out your profile. Some others might just check out your profile. Some might not even see your answer. Oops, no bother. What's going to happen is other people will see your responses because they're publicly pasted responses. They'll watch those videos and get your resources that you provided originally. A percentage of them will reach out directly to you and a percentage of them will thank you and say, oh my God, I saw your response to Sarah and holy shit, that was amazing. Okay. Now to handle the direct messages that people send you saying, thank you so much for that. You're going to say, you're welcome. And then you're going to ask permission to ask a follow-up question. Say, I'm curious if I might ask a couple additional questions. I'm in the process of creating a resource for subject matter of their question, and it would really help me out. The law of reciprocation is going to make them feel obligated to say yes to this. Say, great, thanks. I guess my first question is, if you could change one thing about subject matter, what would you change? So if you were in the dating niche and you were a men's dating coach, if you could change one thing about your dating life, what would you change? You get the idea. They'll then tell you, oh man, I would change this. And you just ask some follow-up questions. Tell me more about that. Tell me more about that. And then you're going to strategically say, ah, shoot, I got to run. But I do have some thoughts for you though. It might be easier just to have a quick call. What's your schedule like over the next couple days for a quick Zoom? I might be able to add some additional value for you or something of that nature. Then book them and close them on the call on your product or service. By this point, you'll have a Google Doc filled with 100 plus common questions and problems of your target audience complete with Loom videos. Because it's on a Google Doc, I would add a table of contents. So when you select the H1, the headline one text type in Google Docs, you just click insert table of contents and it will automatically add at the top of your document a table of contents complete with page numbers. It's amazing. You can just copy and paste your entire Google Doc or just the questions of the Google Doc into chat. GPT and ask, 
Assume the role of copywriting super expert. I just compiled the top 100 questions of my target audience along with detailed answers to each. I want you to come up with 10 catchy, polarizing title and subtitle options to name this guide. Here is the guide, colon, paste guide. Then you put that guide in your cover photo with a link to it. Ideally, put it behind an opt-in page so that they have to opt in to get this guide. Then on your social media, you want to make a post that says, in the last 10 days, I've helped 100 target audience answer top questions. And I put it all into a guide. Who wants it? Then people will comment me. You send it to them via DM. Now be sure not to go too fast or directly copy paste, copy paste. You will get flagged. That won't be good for your accounts. So just pace yourself a little bit. All right. So once you're in the DM, use the same appointment setting script that I gave you a minute ago. And here's the ninja hack. So when you have a Loom account, as soon as somebody views your video, Loom will send you an email notification that will say, Sarah just viewed your Loom video titled this. And when you get one of these notifications, reach out to them if they have not already reached out to you and say, Hey, I saw you watch the Loom video that I sent, but didn't hear back. Just wanted to make sure that it was helpful for you or see if you had any follow-up questions. Hope all is well. Cheers. All right. Again, don't pitch here. Just ask. Just ask if it was helpful for them. To bring their attention back to it, you can do things like at them in the comment thread, just like at Sarah. Just wanted to make sure that you saw this. Made you this video. Or you can DM them. Hey, Sarah. Just wanted to make sure that you saw the thing in the comments. But do not, under any circumstances, pitch them. If you do what I just shared with you, it is physically impossible to not get hordes of leads and clients. Problem is, most just won't do it. So my advice to you at this point is if you need clients, is just do this. Now, today, go. Stop watching my channel. Go do this. Now, if this video was helpful for you, before you go do that, just share it with somebody else who's also trying to get some clients that you think that they might also find it helpful as well. Let me know whatever questions that you may have in the comments of this video. And thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.